stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds. Then valve's locked. 25. Status check. Go, Alice. Go, Santar. 20. 15. T minus 15 seconds. Standing by for terminal count. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with LRO Elcross, America's first step in a lasting return to the moon. And we have the pitch program in. Vehicle bog rings look good. RD-180 is operating well. Pump speeds are stable. Vector pressures look good. Plus and battery voltages are stable. Tank pressures look good. RD-180 is continuing to operate well. down right on schedule engine response looks typical pump speeds are stable injector pressures look good current altitude is 11.3 nautical miles downrange position is 9.9 .9 miles velocity is 2400 miles per hour and we've begun flying the alpha by steering phase of flight vehicle body rates continue to look good Battery voltages are stable, tank pressures are good. Booster has enabled closed loop steering. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Booster engine operation continues to look very good as we uh, move towards our next phase of flight. We fired the RCS pyro valve, and that system has pressurized uh, according to its normal ramp rate. And the booster has begun its 180 degree roll for the LRO thermal constraint. Booster engine continues to operate well. Vehicle still operating uh, well as we begin our 5G throttle segment. Loose phase cooldown is underway. Pump temperatures look good. Coming up on our 4.6G throttle segment, preparation for BECO. And boost phase cooldown is complete. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation looks clean. We have locks and fuel pre-start. Chain 2 purge firing is underway. We 
We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. We have payload fairing jettison, two good brake wires and good visual indication of payload fairing jettison. Centaur has begun uh, closed loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. Centaur PU is being commanded to fixed angles for the early portion of this 9 minute and 42 second burn. Centaur has begun PU limiting. Uh, it's operating at the oxidizer rich condition, which is expected for this phase of flight. RL-10 operation looks very good at this point. Continue to run oxidizer rich. Beginning to pick up our RCS thermal conditioning firings. And Centaur PU has gone to closed loop control. It's now requesting a fuel rich condition. The engine response is typical for this set mixed ratio. Current altitude is 105 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 618 miles. Velocity is 1,224 miles per hour. All Centaur systems look stable at this point in the flight. RL-10 continues to operate well. And we have had the format change, just a slight loss of data as expected. All systems look very good on Centaur. The Antigua tracking station now scheduled to begin supporting downrange. Current altitude is 116 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 787 nautical miles. Velocity is 12,422 miles per hour. Centaur PU is controlling very near nominal mixed ratios at this point. Our all 10 engine is responding as you'd expect for a set mixed ratio. Pump speeds are good. Chamber pressures are stable. And we've Centaur reached the end of our tracking coverage here from the Cape. 23 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 1,015 miles. Velocity is 12,994 miles per hour. Centaur PU is now requesting an oxidizer-rich condition. All systems are stable at this point. Centaur bus and batteries are stable. Million bottle pressures look good. Tank pressures are right within band. All systems are operating very well on Centaur as it passes through 124 nautical miles in altitude, downrange distance of 1,274.
1,374 miles. Velocity is 13,740 miles per hour. We've reached the end of our tracking coverage from the Jupiter Inlet Station in South Florida. Next acquisition will be through the tracking and data relay satellite just after 11 minutes. And Antigua continues to cover. We continue to see our thermal conditioning firings on the RC RCS system. All signatures are as expected for this phase of flight. Centaur continues to perform well, currently flying at an altitude of 118 nautical miles, downrange distance of 1,620 miles. Velocity is 14,775 miles per hour. Acquisition now by the tracking and data relay you satellite can see, system. Uh, some minor PU system control requests, but uh, engine operation is responding accordingly. Two minutes to Miko as the RL-10 continues to perform very well. The reaction control system continues to cycle through its normal normal conditioning firings. Bus and battery voltages are stable. I think pressures look very good. Centaur is currently flying at 108 nautical miles in altitude. Downrange distance is 2,092 miles. Velocity is 16,250 miles per hour. Range track continues to show the vehicle heading right down the middle of the corridor. We have had the RF disable. One minute to Miko. And we've reached the end of our tracking coverage through Antigua. We'll have Centaur engine cut off through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Centaur PU is controlling right down the middle. Engine operation looks good. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. Tank pressures look good. We have 4S settling motors on. 